Hey, it's David with Solar Edge Pro, San Antonio's best solar installation company. If you are considering going solar, it's important to do some research on which type of solar panels are best for your home. A great way of comparing solar panels is by looking at their specification sheets or spec sheets. However, if you are new to solar energy, you may feel a bit overwhelmed by all the terms used. In this week's video, we are going to explore one of the terms often thrown around, open circuit voltage. But first, please like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our newest videos as we continue exploring different terms mentioned on the standard solar panel spec sheet. Okay, now let's dive right in. What is open circuit voltage? According to pveducation.org, the term refers to the maximum voltage available from a solar cell, and this occurs at zero current. Basically, in the most voltage a solar panel can produce without causing any electrical fire and or power outage. The number helps the solar installer and electrician determine the amount of panels connected to a charge controller or inverter. For the sake of brevity, we'll assume you're a homeowner interested in a grid-tied solar panel system and only inverters need further discussion. Inverters are used to convert the DC power from the solar panels to the AC power in your home. They work within a certain range of volts. If the voltage going through an inverter is too high or too low, you risk damaging the inverter, thereby decreasing the lifespan of your system. The open circuit voltage value is always higher than the operating voltage because there's no load or resistance when measured. You can measure your panel's open circuit voltage by using a digital multimeter or voltmeter with leads. Connect the leads of the multimeter to the panel without any other electronic device connected. The measurement on the multimeter should be close to the spec sheet's open circuit voltage. However, keep in mind the spec sheet's listed open circuit voltage is at standard testing conditions, a sunny day around 77 degrees Fahrenheit. If you try measuring the open circuit voltage during the summer in San Antonio, well, the value will be a bit lower than the one listed because of the warmer climate and higher temperatures. When living in hot San Antonio, a high open circuit voltage means more electricity capability and a longer lifespan of the solar panel assuming the panel is equipped to an inverter that can handle it. The reason being a high max capacity of volts allows for a higher electrical current and therefore could produce more electricity for your home. In colder climate areas, too high of an open circuit voltage may be dangerous if it's equipped to an inverter that can't handle the respective amount of volts. So in San Antonio, the chances of exceeding the inverter's limit is less likely. This means your panels are less likely to experience electrical damage than in a cooler climate area. What is a good open circuit voltage amount? As of 2022, an excellent open circuit voltage is around 30 to 58 volts. A panel with an open circuit voltage of less than 30 volts is likely to be smaller with little power output. It's important to note the open circuit voltage is not what makes one panel better than another, but it does reveal a solar panel's potential in terms of power output and longevity. A solar panel with an open circuit voltage of 31 may outperform one with the voltage of 55. However, all other things equal, the latter is likely to generate electricity earlier and later in the day, as well as have a longer lifespan. Is open circuit voltage an important factor? Well, there's no one sole criterion San Antonio homeowner should consider before going solar. Instead, multiple factors should be investigated. A reputable solar installation company can help you make that decision based on your specific needs. If Solar Edge Pros had a top five things for homeowners to consider, would open circuit voltage make the list? Probably not. It is important for an installation company to consider the value when installing the panels on your property. This is because inverters operate within a set range of volts. However, San Antonio homeowners shouldn't lose sleep if a solar company wants to install a panel with a lower open circuit voltage than another panel. More important factors to consider include price, warranties, maximum power output, temperature coefficients of the power max, and efficiency rating. Fortunately, most solar companies today use microinverters like Enphase Energy, which attach to the solar panel directly instead of a string inverter like SolarEdge that can connect to multiple solar panels. Why microinverters? 
because if a string inverter breaks, the homeowner's solar system stops producing a lot more electricity than if just one microinverter breaks. Although it's rare for inverters or panels to break, it does occasionally happen. Overall, this is a good thing for the company too. It's safer to install a panel to a microinverter instead of having to calculate the amount of panels to a string inverter. The open circuit voltage can also help a solar installer find the best tilt for solar panels being installed on a standalone structure, such as a solar carport, solar ground mount, or solar patio. For more information on the subject, please feel free to give us a call 210-401-9030 or email us at info at solaredgepros.com. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to go solar and book an appointment with us, go ahead and visit us online at solaredgepros.com. Thanks again for watching. My name is David, and please like and subscribe if you have not already. Thanks.